It was a rookie prosecutor who first drew attention to a police officer's actions that seen on this surveillance video that now have that officer facing possible prison time, significant at that. CBS 11's Jason Allen has just stepped out of the courtroom for a few moments in Fort Worth, where that prosecutor I speak of testified in the perjury trial. Jason? Yes, yeah, she did, Doug. In fact, the court just wrapped up just a couple minutes ago, right before we joined you live. Most of the trial has focused on really what the officer says happened versus what you see and hear in that video. And it took one viewing for a young prosecutor today to recognize that she didn't like what she saw. John Romer's facing up to 10 years in prison, accused of lying to a grand jury about the incident. He said he told Henry Newsom he was under arrest before punching him and taking him to the ground in 2016. Well, Kate Gardner was assigned to the case against Newsom, who Romer said was trespassing and resisting arrest. But she testified today she watched this video once and was uncomfortable with it and took it to her supervisor in the district attorney's office. The amount of force used against this young man was still inappropriate. A jury was not going to be receptive to that. I was like, I didn't like it when I first saw it. It took me one time to view that to not like it. In fact, she said Romer was borderline yelling at her on the phone when she told him she was going to pro not going to prosecute the young man who was hit. Doug, there were other inconsistencies about what prosecutors were told happened versus what was on the video, which is really what turned this investigation around. In addition to the trial, can I ask you this? Because you, I know you've reported Romer still an officer. We wanted to know that. Obviously, he is, uh, but on restricted duty, based on what we know. But you learned also, also that for a full year after the department learned about the concerns in the case that you're covering right now, that he was still out on the street. Correct? Th that that's correct. There was a source close to the case who told me that the district attorney personally called former police chief Joel Fitzgerald about this in March of 2017, but we confirm with police today, Romer continued to work as a police officer for the next year. It wasn't until a year later, actually, that uh, police suspended him. This was after a civil suit had been filed and after there were criminal charges in the case. We reached out to police about that decision today, also to the former police chief, but did not immediately get a response, Doug. Maybe by tomorrow we will. Jason Allen, thanks very much. We appreciate it.